Hi guys and welcome to banter number 86 and eat my baby here so tonight is going to be first looks maybe a giveaway depends how many viewers we get um, a wee update on one of the drags that I got in for review and I think that's about it I think I may be wrong but I think so if you're in chat, type in and say hi. Don't know how many is actually watching at the moment. I've got one, which could be myself. <laughs> so that's not very good. But yeah. So what I'm using is I've got the top side out with the dot blank RDA on top. Smart Battlestar Squonker with the bunker on top. The Smart Rudder with the Freemax Mesh Pro. And my usual, the VK530 with the Falcon King. I had to think there for a minute. And that's what I'm all using. In them, I've got Frozen Pond, Frozen Pond. Um, cherry mental. Oh, that's not frozen pond. That's got my banana for the king's custard range. I forgot to put that in that. So the top side's got my frozen pond in it. Um, I'll also be hitting a couple on this, which is a drag nano. And I'll have some on this as well, which is a baby trio. I don't know who's actually watching. If you are watching, type in chat so I know that you're here. I don't actually know if there is anybody watching. If not, it will be a very quick um, banner. So first off, we'll talk about the drag. And it's the drag baby trio. Um, I don't know if you see that. But it is moving. And if you notice right there, there is a gap. If I screw this all the way in and press fire button, I'll let you see the light. It doesn't work. So I do have to unscrew it to get it to work. So it is slack. I try and hold the mod still. So you can see that it does move. Um, but yeah. So I won't be doing a review of this, um, I think it's actually the chip that's away on it, and I don't think it's changing to the coil that's in it, but it's meant to change the wattage depending on what ohms you've put on it, but I don't think it is, and that's why it's not working right. Still vapes, flavour's good for it. But I just can't be doing with a wobbly, wobbly tank and it not sitting on right. So I've emailed uh, Vapor about it. I've not heard nothing back from them. So hopefully they'll get back to me before Monday. I doubt it, like. Um, because I should actually be doing a review for it tomorrow night, but I won't be. Um, so that's not going to get done. So the only review I'll be doing this week will be the Wii Nano, which I'm thoroughly enjoying. Um, 
you know, have to remember they've got nick salts in them. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm going to do the ad and then, then we'll talk about other stuff. So in chat, I did have Sass Vapes and Demi Crazy Damper. Hello and welcome, if these are still there. Um, I don't actually know how many is watching and who's all watching. Um, if you are in chat, put a wee comment in so I know you are there. News wise, um, I don't think there is actually anything I've got to tell you. I've got a partial coming on, should be Monday, according to DHL and a text. Um, I'll just have to wait and see. I've got that today. Um, so yeah, I should have something Monday. I did get vape mail this week. Um, I'll wait. A wee bit longer before I do first looks. I wait to half past seven and then I'll do the first looks of the items that's came in. There's only been three as far as I'm aware. Um, going to have to mute that. So, <coughs> three items came in. Still haven't received the package from the Kelty Devil yet still waiting on that the coils so that's why I did not put on to this shit once I receive them and everything's fine and I get the go ahead then it will get posted up along beside the coil um, I may have or I may try and get another sponsor and it'll be juice. I know, I don't do juice reviews. But if they sponsor me, I'll get shown. Um, just like all my other sponsors. I'll get shown at the start of reviews during this. Um, and it being juice, I would be using it in RDA, RTA, stock oil, any tank or dripper, basically, in the reviews. Um, just to promote that a wee bit more because that's all I do we just is promote them um, but yeah so if you're watching post in the chat ask questions um, to me or other people that's in the chat hi Gara and hopefully we can get the chat going a bit So I'll let you all vape them on, since I've told you what I'm vape them on. I don't know who's a one shot. If you're in chat, can you please comment so I know you're there and everybody else will know you're there. And it gives me stuff to say as well. And I can talk to you, especially if you put questions in or ask me anything. I will try and answer. Hi Graham. Um, the Patreon for last week was a shambles. I tried to put up the review for what was up on Monday. I can't even remember. You just have to bear with me to get the calendar up. Yeah, Hex of E2. Tried to post it up, kept getting that 
stupid gateway 504 error every time I try to log into Patreon I eventually got into Patreon clicked to went to post and it got the error again so I had to try and get back in again oh and it was a nightmare must have been there for about at least 45 minutes trying to put one video on um, so I just left the other one until was it Wednesday morning I put it on because usually I try and get them on a couple of days before they go live so the people on Patreon are benefiting from being on Patreon um, if you want to join my Patreon there's a link down below in all my videos to it do not join until tomorrow because that's when they start building again it's the first of the month um, so as long as it's past the first then join I think if you join now you'd get billed today and tomorrow which you don't want um, so yeah just make sure you go and join tomorrow and not tonight hi Andy up north and Demi's back and Nightbot Save is here Andy, I've not used Big Juice UK's concentrates or liquids. Um, I'm not really into getting much juice. I just get the usual frozen pond, cherry menthol, which I'm waiting to change. Um, I'm positive it was Graham that t told me to try Duck's Breath by Quakes as well. Oh, I didn't like that. So I've got about 400 ml of that mixed up, which will probably just end up doing the sink eventually um, but yeah I don't really try much juices just try to think if there's any other news I don't think there is Oh, there is actually. The Planet of the Vapes. Is it the Planet of the Vapes? So I should say things ready. Yeah, Planet of the Vapes is doing a charity raffle. So the stuff that was there for the 750 sub that wasn't claimed, I'm going to be giving them that stuff. I don't know if I'm going to take some of the stuff off the shelves or that or not. But at the moment there's three brand new kits here. It's fair enough, two's pod kits. Um, but yeah, I'll get that posted tomorrow hopefully. Which means I'll have to see if there is anything else I have to put in. Um, the giveaways here will be starting up again on the lives. As long as I get the views in, then I'll do a live giveaway. But I want to see maybe 10, 15 people in before I do a giveaway. Mm. Yeah. Because at the moment it's saying I've got five. So that's Andy, Graham, Demi, and I don't know who else. So if you are in chat, come along in chat, post something so we know you're there. And I've started it early enough so at least I've got an hour before who's on at the same time. I can't even remember who comes on at 8 o'clock. Super awesome vape show. Post of there at eight. I'm positive it's saying it's on at eight. Um, I 
not going to end up here, actually. Or is that a Sunday? That could be a Sunday. I know there's somebody come starts a show at 8 o'clock tonight. Oh, it's, uh, it's not on YouTube. Is it the bitches Eastwick? It's on Twitch at 8 o'clock. I think it is. But there's a show on at 8 o'clock. And so I thought I'd come start early. Um, so at least I get some time without there being any overlap. So yeah. That's good Andy that you're using it. I don't think I've seen any photos of it though. Because I want to see what colour you got. So I'm going to be getting rid of mines. My standard one with coil on it. That's a injection molded one. Because I now have a 3D printed one. Let's eat my baby on it. Um, so yeah, this one will be getting given away at some point. Because there's no point me keeping the two. One's enough. Um, so yeah, that will be getting given away at some point. Once I get the views in. Um, so that will probably... Yeah, I'll do that one first. And then I'll do the other two. Which are 3D printed. Um, they'll get done after this one years away. So I've got three coil tools sitting here to for giveaways. But I need the views first. Um, so yeah. Obviously there will be RDA or an RTA or a mod or something else to go with it. Um, just so I can try and get rid of everything that's up there. And over there. Somewhere. Where am I? There. All that is to go as well. So I've got enough stuff to give away. Is just try to get the viewers in to give away. Yeah, I like bully myself. You never chose any ticks. Yeah, according to Social Boy, it'll be about November before I hit a thousand, I think. Uh, future. Subs. Yeah, November. At the moment it's saying 14. But I can that'll change. It'll probably be probably starting next year when I get to the thousand sub. And then that'll be me two thirds of the way to my target. Which will be good. We'll go and do the first looks, I think, yeah. So I'll show you what came in this week, obviously coily tools came in. But we'll go and do the first looks, if this works. Vape mail time, or first looks. So we've got to have a look at this modus bunker RDA and the dot blank, or the blank RDA. I don't know how it's said, if it's dot blank or just blank RDA, but it's one of the two. So that's what we're going to have a look at. So first off we'll do the blank, which is here. Let me zoom 
and now you bit here and hopefully I'll stay in shot for you so if I take this off without losing it on the bottom you can see I've already got the squonk pin installed or did that come with it installed I can't remember one of them came with it installed the other one was installed but you've got as much as as modest logo on both sides got your air holes at the top which is fairly adjustable I think it's because my o-rings are tight but there you go so it is fairly adjustable and if you go inside see there's your air there coming in the two sides you go down the posts and come out it's a single coil affair so you've got a slot there for your coil leg slot there for your coil leg coil will sit across here and your wicks will sit down either side you can see the wee hole in your 510 on each side so that's the blank dot blank I'll figure out what it's actually called before I do the review for it the other thing that came in was obviously the bunker. Let's just get this off. There's your base. We've got a squonk pin installed on this as well. We've got as modus both sides, just above the air slots, which is, again is fairly adjustable. You've got two glass section to see your bulb. Open this up. Here's your deck. Same affair. Two slots. One on each post for your legs. Coil sitting across here. Rick's going down. And again you've got two small holes inside the pin. Your 510 pin for the juice coming out if you're using it. Squonker. You can change the glass and if you unscrew the top that gives you access to the glass to change it if you so need be. Or if you just want to give a proper queen outside the sleeve you can which is handy. all that together yeah. so that's all that's came in this week so far um, I just wanted to get this done and posted up for patrons so back up top right, so that's what's came in um, I've got it on the bunker on top of the Battlestar Squonker the blank on top of my top side mm. so yeah it's a couple of weeks before they're due to get done now um, so I should get the calendar open because I'll need that again anyway yeah they're not until not about four weeks away no Just there three weeks away before they're due. Um, but I'll get them done probably next week. Not this Saturday, but next again Saturday. Because at the moment I'm a week ahead of myself, apart from getting this done. Um, because I've been testing this last week, this week gets reviewed tomorrow and I'll get posted up. I think I've done it for the Tuesday. Yeah. So that'll get posted up on Tuesday, um, because of, it's just the one review next week. So we'll do it the Tuesday, and then the next game week is back to two. And it should have been a two, but because I can't do the baby trio, it's down to one.
Alright, thanks down for that. So it's called a point blank. Yeah. Sounds a bit better than dot blank. Um. So there we get tested this week coming. Yeah, they two are getting tested this week coming, so I can get them reviewed next week. Uh, yeah, get a review done next week. Um, the rudder and the hive, they're obviously after everything has been sent in. I don't know what's coming in the partial it's due on Monday. It could be anything for anybody. Um, so I don't know how many slots I need for that and tots here and I've got it which doesn't help me And I don't think I'd ever buy e-liquid off eBay. Um, I'd rather stick to a reputable shop. It's usually ELFC that I get my concentrates from. Um, I think I've got three bottles of frozen pond still in the drawer. So I'll wait till they bring a deal on it before I get more. If I have to pay full price, I'll pay full price if I've none left. We'll try and get as cheap as I can. Yeah, so, I'm actually enjoy using the bunker idea more than the blank. And my uh, mod kings <laughs> was trying to give me everything and on for this setup because he was wanting it, and it's like, nah, can I do it? No, get it. And that was on, was that yesterday? Yeah, it was. It was yesterday when I was in the shop because I had to get some coils for my Mesh Pro because I've actually tightened the top of it. I pushed the pin on the inside down towards the top so it's not so slack to try and open. Now there is a wee bit of force needed to open it. Um, so if you do have one and your top's really slack, just get something and hit your pin a wee bit. I was using my wee screwdriver. Uh, hex and I can't remember what size I was. I think it's 1.3 mil hex that I used um, so it would fit over the pin and go down into the actual top itself so you need a small hex piece and just find something heavy to bash it down that wee bit but not too heavy that you're going to damage it. I like to buy concentrates myself and then just mix my own. Um, I'm not into buying short rolls or pre-made stuff. The only thing pre-made that I buy is my neck salts. Um, it's usually uh, Dragon's Dream. The salts. I did go and get is that nasty salt. Swobo. I bought that from 
the Mod King. So 50 50 mix. And it's for trying and the baby trio. Um, I tried the salt, the other salt, the dragon's dream. But it was like getting dry hits every so often. If I chain vaped it, so obviously the 70 30 was too much. High vaping smurfs. Max the. So yeah, I've actually caught up with reviews and as I say I'm a week ahead of myself. So that can give me a week where if I haven't got time or if I got a shift on a Saturday, because that's where I usually do them is a Saturday. Um, it means I can leave that week till I'm off. Um, I didn't tell you that I got paid off for my work. Um, when I had the ear infection I was off, they turned that into consideration on my yearly review and said, no, you have too much time off, there's your notice. So I've been with agencies just getting shifts now and again. So it all depends what days I get. And obviously if I get a Saturday I'm not going to have time to do the reviews. So I'll get left until the next week or I'll do it before. The week before, if I can. Um, yeah. As long as I've used it for a week, then I'll do a review on it. Um, like the rudder mud, I can actually do a review on that. Um, I've been using that for a couple of weeks now. So I could do a review for that any time. The Hive, I've not been using it that much, so I can I can't do the review of that. It's just too big. Look at that. It's massive. Um, so yeah, I've not been using it. I'll wait till closer the time before I use it. Andy, I'm a HGV driver. Last, was it last Friday? Yeah, last Friday I was away over at Euro Central for a company, um, which is about an hour's drive for here. So that was like the hour plus my 10 hour shift and then an hour back home. Um, if it had been a 12 hour shift, they were getting tilting up because then that means I'm away for. What, 14, 14 about hours? Which is just a bit too long. But hopefully I'll get a full time job soon. It's just waiting on companies getting back to me. I did have one and asked to go in for an interview, so I went and the manager was too busy because he forgot he had a meeting and I was like aye, whatever <laughs> I've never heard back from them Being in Fife, there's not actually that many HGV companies there's loads of tip of work but I've never done that so that's hard to get into. Just hope one of the agencies can get me into somewhere that does tippers so I can get some experience with them. So I can then go to these companies and say, Yeah, I've done it. I've driven you tipper motors. Um, but it just takes time. And I will find something else. Obviously, I have to watch because obviously I need the Sunday off for. The crazy vape show. Um, this banter can get done any night, so I'm fine with that. It's just really the Sunday nights. That's my 
asshole. Because then that means that I can't do four on four off nights. Because every fourth is every fourth week. No. Like what's it sound like six weeks, seven weeks? I'd be working on a Sunday. And then seven weeks I'd be off on the Sunday. Yeah, I can quite a few HGV drivers that don't actually drive HGVs now. And if push comes to shove, I'll go back to the buses. I've always got that as a fallback. But I don't really want to. Too many smelly passengers. Especially if you're doing the service work. It's not very nice on a bra hot summer's day and you have to keep your car window shut. Because if you've got your car window on, any smell that's up the back from passengers comes straight down to you. And it's not very nice, some of them. That's just it, Max. Stuff. There's no decent companies about here that I know of. Mm. Who's the closest and the biggest? I'd say it's probably Malcolm's, but they're not very good to work for. So I've not even attempted them yet. So I've always got them as a last resort. But we'll get there eventually. Um, hotel still not booked for Expo in October yet. Because it's still too dear. Um, if they bring it down that wee bit, then yeah, maybe just jump on it. But the time being, it's still going to be over £400 for the four days. Which is a lot. So if one week I don't do a banter, <laughs> it's because I'm working. Um, I was lucky last Friday, because it was just a 10 hour shift, I started at uh, 8 o'clock, and I was back home in plenty of time, before I get the banter done. Um, so it wasn't too bad. I don't know how many is actually watching. Who's all watching? I know I've got Andy. Um, I don't know if Graham's still kicking about. Um, Max still still there. I don't know if Vitam Smurf's still kicking about. And I haven't seen John yet, so I'm thinking that he's working. Yeah, Andy, that's the Premier run. It's over, what is it, 450 for four nights plus the breakfast and evening meal. And then on top of that I've also got fuel money, spending money and everything. Yeah, Graham's still there. So it's very smart. But yeah, if you just want to ask me questions, ask away. Um, I won't bite. So my spending has ceased for the time being. Be buying mods and RDAs and tanks and 
Evren aya. Koza şüd hava naf. To do me up to July. Second week in July. So that's still six weeks away. I should get a job by then. Hopefully. Give me two seconds. I'm currently charging batteries. Currently. Mm -hmm. Just before the show started, I checked my battery power. Yeah, and both of them are about empty. So I was like, I better charge them before I start. So I'm not changing them during it. And the only other stream that I'm on is the Crazy Vape Show on a Sunday night with Dimmy. But that's done both on my channel and Dimmy's channel. If you are watching it, you're better watching on my channel. Because it's a constant stream where Dimmy's comes and goes and crashes and <laughs> everything. I don't think we've had a week yet where nothing's went drastically wrong with one of us. But 99% of the time it's dummy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also on the shows we're going to start getting viewers on. Um, I was not going with a guest. Or it'll just be viewers or just a guest. Um, so yeah. That's something to look forward for you. If you do want to come on the show, just send me or Demi a quick message. All you need is a microphone and a camera. It was streaming fine and my wee green light to went to a red light. Mm. So that wasn't my fault, that was OBS's fault. I maybe need to check see if there's an update for it. But I'll do that after the show. Just so I'm not doing it during it. Um, yeah, I don't think I could do the ice truckers. No, I wouldn't like to do that. I can you're sitting in a warm car but nah. It's bad enough for me that it's not here. No bother Andy, catch you later. Yeah, I'll find something eventually. Always do. I was just was it just over a year ago? Yeah, it had to be. April last year is the last time when I went without a job for a month. Um, and I could do the same again. Which will keep me being lazy. Because <laughs> that's what I've been. Just saying about the house being lazy. Because I'm not working. Well, at least if I'm working, I'm out being busy. Yeah. So, any questions? Hi, ST. If you are watching the replay of this and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, if you want a 
Coil with tool 3D printed with custom text. I'll try and get one. Like so. There's a link in the chat to go to the Coil Tool website and then you can purchase one. If you look on any of my videos down below or any of the videos after um, Coil started sponsoring me, there is a discount code there as well for it. Use that and you'll get so much money off it. And it's only on the 3D printed custom coil that you'll get a discount on. It sells other stuff as well, coils, etc. So if you haven't went along and had a look, go on along and have a look and see. And hopefully, my other sponsor should start. If not next week, it'll be the week after. Hi, Michelle. Michelle, you used the armadillo yet? Or is it still in its box? Well, there must be some delay. Yeah. I do like it. I don't have it running at the moment though. Over here. because I've got two RDAs on my squat mods and at currently I'm only using two squat mods mm. yeah, so that's where it's re resident at the back of me so I'm definitely need to tidy my desk both sides and put stuff away and Give stuff away. Pardon me. Hi, Roy's reviews. So, is there any questions for anybody? Just try to think if there's anything else I have to say. I don't think there is. Not that I can see. Because usual things I have to say I have at the side or in front of me, but I can't see anything. <coughs> Vaden Smith, I was thinking about that. The next time I take coils out, put six coils in it. Just for a laugh. Yeah, I could just take one of the ones out of the box. Let's suck. Wait to try and find it. There. Somewhere there. Because there's still two in the boxes. Nah, Roy, you should go for six. I never checked all the screws. Because I don't use big massive coils. That will go out that far. See, you've got me curious now. Let's 
și la poartă la soare. Mm. Hai, ne mai... Mm. Păcăvai ne fie pe ofă? Nu. No. Mă băut pe coude. Oh, what a hate for it. Mm -hmm. That side is okay. Turn around. Try and get the screwdriver in. You keep twisting the deck. Oh, I hate for I hate. Total hate them. Yeah, no, that side's okay. Oh, you can see that. Come on, focus. Nah, it doesn't like focusing. There you go. So on the gold, um, mine's is fine. I so hate flathead grub screws. And I can't remember what size they are to change them. 2.5 by 3 or something. It's something like that. Mm. But yeah, mine's is fine. On my gold, at least. I know there is a few that's had some problems with the uh, grub screws. I'm just trying to take fingerprints off the sleeve of the gold again. I'm going to try and put it back in without putting fingerprints on it. Like so. Where did I do this? Look at it. I can't even stop him, I think. Let's come back up. <coughs> I've not been by much neither. Well, I've got for a comeback for Expo coils, that's it. Um, or na nasty juice, or nasty salts. Where do I get coils for? I can't even remember. Oh, my, my pod. I needed a new pod for it. So I went, got one of them, and then the Freemax Mesh Pro coils. That's the only things I've bought. If I come back for Expo, mm. there is a lot more I have to get though, because I definitely want one of the Mechman box mods, not the tube one, the box mod itself. Mm. But yeah, I don't know when I'll get it now, if I actually get it. Because by the time it comes around to actually getting it, um, it's going to be months and months old. So I won't bother.
Roy Expo's um, the Vapor Expo in Birmingham happens twice a year and it's just a big massive meat place for all the vapors and the companies from China come across and try and sell you their new stuff or show you their new stuff um, like Yeehee's there but they don't sell any of their mods they just there for show which seems a bit stupid Because why go to something like that and not show, eh, not sell any mods? Because obviously they have to pay for the stall and they, they're not taking any revenue in to make money back for the payment of the stall, which seems a bit stupid to me. <laughs> but that's them. Um, Roy, where are you from? <clears throat> nah, not Roy. <laughs> Northern Ireland, Roy. just too many reviewers for all different places it's hard to try and keep track of them all what's that button mean? yeah you're Irish right? <laughs> I can't keep a count of all the different reviewers. It's the first time I've seen you was in May. <laughs> Michelle, you'll just have to import them out here. And then you've not got so far to travel to get to Expo. <clears throat> no, yeah. You're not staying in Britain. You're in Ireland, so you're Irish, right? When did I meet you before? You at one of the other expos? I can't remember. I'm crap when it comes to names and faces and everything. Yeah, but if you come over here, then you haven't got so far to go to get the expo, which is a good thing. I just can't remember it. Hey, hi John. So John, question for you. What did you think I had posted on Facebook? I 
That's it, John's in chat, so John will probably take up the full chat. But well, you're not on the main island of United Kingdom. You're on a separate island. But it just so happens to have Ireland next to you. So you're Irish. Yeah, John, you should read things. It helps a wee bit. And you should have came with the logos from, from my channel and the logo from the company on for the devices on the picture which tells you that it's a review. Because that's the only time the two is together. John, you haven't missed much. No, apart from everything I've said in the first weeks and everything. Yeah, Michelle, but you still aren't part of Great Britain. You're on an island, which is separate. Right, anybody got any vape questions? Or vape related? Yeah, but Michelle, you're still on the Ireland beside the Irish. So you're Irish.
Michelle, you may be Scottish, but you're living in Ireland, so you're Irish now. No, Scotland's Scotland. I'm all about learning history for. I'm too old to learn stuff. <coughs> Sorry about that, folks. It was just too airy for me. Oh, if you didn't notice, um, John is now a mod on the YouTube channel, and that happened on Sunday. I am waiting for about two more. Mm. I don't know who they're going to be yet. So the Tickies are all finished fighting over Ireland, or Northern Ireland. <clears throat> Any questions? Instead of me just sitting here being quiet. Mask away. I don't know how many he's in. Watch him. One, two. Three, four, five. <laughs> now nah, I gave up with that about ten minutes ago. The base stands, the wee toy ones I use. Oh, yeah, yeah. stands. I'll have to go and see.
I can't tell you. Because first take's done. Um, it's not going to help me. I think they're just called artistans. No, I can't get on the first text, so I can't tell you. <clears throat> but I'm positive that's what they're called, that is stands. Maxter, I use Quake's Frozen Pond most. I never heard about that, John. Yes, yeah, Smurfy does. It. Steve's um, person stands are actually pretty good. I have one here. I'm thinking about modding it though, um, <laughs> so I can use it as like a five, two, one tab. So I can pulse my coils while it's on it. <clears throat> oh, can you go ask that? Um, Max, sir, uh, it's a s very sweet. Well, it's a hunting mental. That's about as best as I can go. Uh, ELFC cell and a 60 ml bottle concentrate. Like, I've got one. Like so. And I mix it at 15%, I think. Yeah, because I got about 400 mil of it. Yeah, you do have to give them a queen now and again, Graham. I did find that. But if you, when you take your tank or atomizer off a mod, give your threads a queen and put them in, and it shouldn't be as bad. I think it's about £17 pound for the bottle. John, you're out of luck. I can't get the name of the wee stands because Fast X not running. Well, apparently, experience a spike in the network traffic. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> but if you mind me on Sunday night on the Crazy Vape Show, I'll tell you then. But at the moment, I'm not getting on their site at all. <laughs> and I'm not getting on my phone either. So you're definitely out of work there. I do know you can buy the individual colours or a pack of... Is it seven? I can't remember.
two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, pack is seven, and it comes like that. Mm. I've still got two full bags there in them, which I have to get out and get tanks on them and drippers, and then try and find somewhere to store them all. It'd be there if I didn't hear all that up there. Got to go for an ad. Yeah. I'll keep trying for you, John, but I can't see it coming up soon. So any questions from anybody? I don't even know how many is watching. Five. It's not too bad. Could be getting somewhere John, could be getting somewhere. I'm definitely need to try and move my camera up on top of my monitor. So when I'm looking at the monitor it's like I'm looking at the camera too. Because every time I look at the monitor, my head's away from the camera. Right, John, you got a pen bit of paper? Yeah, I've still got the Kelpie somewhere. Somewhere. Um, I'm not using it at this precise moment in time. I do have it. It's sitting on top of my drag at the moment. Right, the SKU number is two five two three zero 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 and the call num aluminium alloy stands for five ten threaded atomizers and that's for the seven pack and if you go into the side you can then pick if you want just the single colours I wonder when they brought their ones out Years ago. And even the ones with dots on it as well. I think my site's crashed again. Oh no. Two fourteen each or a Seven I got it. I mean I'm loading back up. I'm home it's the site, not my internet. No, it has to be the site. Eight dollars eighty for the seven. So that's your best bet. Is going for the seven of them. Oh no, 172 each for the all one colour without the dots. So it depends what you want.
What's my daily kit that I always use? Um, I don't really have a daily kit. The mod is always uh, VK530. My wife's got that on the go. If I'm using drippers, then it's either the top side or the Battlestar Squonker. And just whatever else I pick up. Like at the moment, I'm not testing tanks. So it's generally whatever tanks are on top. That's the one I'll use. I should maybe actually get some of the older tanks doing off the shelf and use them. Yeah. I may just do that for Sunday. Just pick a load of random tanks that I've not used for a while. That's still it. If I could only take one on a desert, hmm. It would obviously be the VK530. With. Oh, I don't know. It would have to be a tank, a rebuildable tank. So that would be either. The Kelpie The Solemn 3 or the Dog That'd be one of the three Hi Christoph But I don't know what one of the three it would have to be Any more questions? I'm missing something. See my stories about her there. Yeah, that's how. I can I'm missing something. My ex driver. I've got three wee compartment. Well, four. One's got the normal fox screwdriver. The other one's got the small, the standard screwdriver, and the hex. All sitting in it next to each other so I came where they are I must have forgot to put it back when I was building on the uh, RDAs Any more questions? Anything you like in?
Nó không thổ <coughs> I don't know if Michelle, Michelle and Roy still there I've not posted for a wee while Yeah, I have, but it's a pod system, so I wouldn't go out and buy them. I'm quite happy at the moment with the my pod. That does me, and I've got this as well now. I just wish there were more pod systems out there where you can actually take the battery out to charge it and put a spare battery in to use it or to carry both with you when you're away somewhere with them just for people who's just getting into vaping and because obviously they won't know exactly when their battery's going to run out until they've had it for a couple of months to, until they get used to how long you get from a fuel charge battery Um, yeah, well, that's a fair wee bit. The only thing I don't like about it is frosted and pod, and sometimes it's hard to see how much juice you've got on it. So I just shine it to a light or a screen or the window just to see. But it does last a fair wee bit. Um, I reckon I'll fill it every 3-4 days and that's me using it first thing in the morning last thing at night I actually thought it was more than one mil I'm just trying to see if it is. Yeah, it is. I thought it was more. <coughs> but there is a wee niggle with our pod. Um, which we'll have to wait to review to find out. At least the my pod one isn't as bad. It's a slightly frosted, but you can still see the juice that's in it. Um, where's that one just too dark I know you can see it in the camera but if I put it down to where my shutters it takes you to see it um, it really has to be on something light and remember the two lights that's in front of me I don't have on when I'm sitting here usually just when I'm recording they're on so the only thing I've really got is either the monitor or the window over that side. I 
Yeah, I've heard that the Caliburn is pretty good. I haven't got one. Two seconds. I thought my batteries were charged because that power charging thing was making a noise. And it usually makes a noise when the batteries are full. Which I suppose is a good thing. But it saves me waking out all the time. I think it's just a bit ready to go. <coughs> It's on the trickle charge bit. And for anybody wondering, that's the VC4S from Xstar that I'm using at the back of me now. Instead of our older one. Well, that's a way doing there on the foyer. I think it was XP4. That only went up to one amp. But with that one I'll get the two batteries charged at the two amp. Which is okay for me. Still wouldn't charge one battery at three amp on it though. That's just too much. So my single batteries usually get taken downstairs and charged on the one downstairs. So who's us still in? I can I've got a con to the website. Well, YouTube's four. I know John will be one. And I'm taking it Roy and Michelle's away. Yeah, they'll be away to watch the other one that's on. That's all. Is there any questions or am I just calling it? Because that's been an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, no. Say an hour and 35. I think I've had 5 minutes with the main screen on. Graham's still here. Christoph, Maxstar, um, Vaten Smurf. I don't know who's here. <laughs> Not to you comment anyway. That's not very good then. That's why I didn't have babies. That I know about anyway. Um, I couldn't be doing my great bairns all the time.
take a dummy then you come back then I was trying to begin one of them Graham until I found out the price of it and then I was like no not getting it too dear Any questions before I call it? Yeah, I think it's a DNA chip at some, is it not? Is it one of the DNA chips? I think it is. Yeah. I think it was just a wee bit too dear for to hear DNA board in it. If they'd put their own board in it then probably yes. Or even a Yeehee board. But yeah, I think I'm just going to call us guys. Um, there's apparently four of you watching. But there's no questions. And I've said everything that I have to say. I think. Because I've done that and done that and done that. Done that. Yeah, I think that's it. I think. I say it every week I should write stuff down but I don't know. Yeah, I prefer Yeehee boards to DNA. Right, last call for questions before I call it. I just don't know how much of a delay there is between me and YouTube. Yeah, I'm 
Vamos a Wong the way. DNA boards are okay. But I just prefer the menu system on the Yeehee. Especially if it's got the joystick. Because I can change my wattage just going through my memory bank. It's quick to change between the wattages I've got set in it. Mm, it means there's no way that Graham. Um, like I've just changed my memory. And I don't have to unlock it. And I'm going through them all. One thing I wish they would do is get rid of the TC off the boards. I know there is people who still use this temperature control, but there's hardly any. I think most way everybody uses a variable wattage. But in the chat, I actually use temperature control. As I'm all the time. I know there is some people who use it. I don't. I know when I'm about to get a dry hit, so I don't really need it. Because that's all temperature control is for, to stop people getting dry hits. But, no. Nah. I'll stick with my variable wattage. It's good for people who's just going into like RDAs, um, but that's it. I think personally myself that's what's for as somebody that's wanting to go from a stock oil tank to a rebuildable drip and atomizer. So that they're not getting a dry hit because I forgot to put juice into the RDA. But that's just my opinion.
Tanks is easy enough because you can see your juice level. Um, RDTAs are the same. You can mostly see your juice level. Um, but yeah. That'll probably be the next thing. Temperature control and pods. So you don't get dry hits for a pod. Okay, so it's coming up to the two hour mark. Or the nine o'clock time. And <laughs> I'm just going to call this. So I have to thank everybody that's come in and chatted on the chat. And said hi. And everybody that hasn't chatted. That's still here. Watching this. Or you're watching the replay. So thank you. If you've enjoyed the show. Hit the thumbs up. Um, if you didn't hit thumbs down. I don't even know if I've actually got any. I've got four up and one down. So it's not too bad. At least I haven't got any downs before the show started. Like what usual happens. Um, but yeah. So thanks for coming along. Without you coming and watching. Um, it'd be pointless doing this. So big thank you to everybody that's here. And to everybody that's subscribed to me on YouTube and VapeTube. If you haven't done so, please go and do so. You'll find links down below to them. Along with in the chat as well. The live chat. I think. No, they aren't. No, so you have to find them down below. Um, I was thinking I was on the show there because it brings up both mine and Demi's. Um, but no, I don't think it does. I'm just checking. No. So you definitely have to look down below in the descriptions for the links. And you'll find the links for everything else. Patreon, um, social media, forums that I'm in and post reviews on. And they're always in all my reviews and the banners. So if you click on any of them, you'll find the links for any of them. So thanks again for coming along. And as always, stay safe and bye just now.